Hey there, welcome back. Now as a general rule, I usually don't showcase rentals. However, I'm making an exception in this case because this is a rental everybody got their hands on and you have the opportunity to buy it. I think it's in the web shop. Yeah. Well, the crates for it anyway. I'm talking about the tier 10 premium T14152. This is a vehicle I personally don't have. I don't have the T14 uh, from the regular tech tree because I'm only at the T90MS at tier 9. But I am close, very close. Now this vehicle in particular was at one point a regular progression vehicle. But they removed the 152mm cannon option and turned it into a premium vehicle that you see here. Nevertheless, I actually did contemplate buying it and for me it would cost $69 Canadian for the crates and I do have five in reserve from all these little drops that came around over the last I think year so my chances are good not great but good if I were to actually get the loot crates and try and build one nevertheless I still want to take one out just to get a feel for was it would it be actually worth it to spend almost $70 Canadian on a tier 10 premium where I have slightly improved chances of actually getting and to give myself kind of a preview for when I do actually do get the T14 mind you it won't have the 152 but I'll have an idea for speed armor protection and so on and such forth and I can check out the firepower unfortunately I don't have any retrofits on here I don't even have any I didn't even touch my crew skills. So it's pretty much... I'm playing with a complete handicap with this machine. Wow. That just totally annihilates him. So, we're looking at a 12 second reload. Pretty good penetration and damage. I do have one shell there. We do get a little break in combat here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. You're probably well within that rock, aren't you? What the hey, I'll take it. So here we go. Here's the standard AP round. That's pretty impressive. This is the AG round to give you. Not so much. So it's good for, like, say, tracking vehicles, but other than that, yeah. And you're just done. So I don't really foresee having real armor issues. Oh, hi there. I can play that game too, see? Oh, I can play the game better. <laughs> so we're talking about a cannon that I'm already used to on my MBT-70 Tier 6 with a whole lot longer reload. I felt that. I still can't pen. Ooh, Jirgo's half my hit points. Wow. PL-01. See if we can get in there. Not good. That's good. Should have went with something a little bit higher hit points, but. Ooh, I didn't even buy a repair kit. Uh... Yeah, this thing is dealing out like a thousand. But the trade off is that long reload. So it's got excellent armor. I'm impressed with that. I still don't have a clear shot. Can I actually get up here without... Uh... Oh, ow! No, 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 no! Seven. Ah! Okay. Not good. So let's rethink that whole... Uh... Oh, jeez. They're just... Oh, and there comes the ping and the bad leg. Oh, there we go. Disco, disco tank. Yeah, jiggy, jiggy. Junk. Are we actually moving now? Okay, no, we're still trying to... Oh, 45, 21 milliseconds. Ah, that's completely playable. Yeah, you know, it drops back down to 185, which is a little bit easier to deal with. So we still have six minutes on the clock. Let's see if we can get in there. Yeah. 
would be nice to break 10,000. That's right. Mind you, the bot versions of these are not so tough like they used to be either, so... And a little bit more of a higgy jiggy. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Almost makes the game unplayable. Almost. That's kind of an angled shot. I don't think I can still knock on your door. Ooh, 71 19, and here comes the lag. A little bit of rubber banding just to make it feel good. And now we're frozen. There we go. Now we're moving again. Hopefully, ho hey, hey, come on, just hold steady enough for him to take the shot. Really? Why are you aiming up? Where are you going? Really? Uh. Hmm. Yes, it is frustrating. Okay, so. I think we're going to aim for up the middle. Looks like these guys are covering the plan. Oh, there we go, just because everybody in camp right now is probably. I wasn't even aiming this direction. Oh, give me a break, dude. No, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna have a few. I've had a few. Enjoy... this. And take... that one. Really? Why did you have to steal it out from underneath me? I was dealing with that. So I literally need to fire this cannon and get three good hits on something. Something, anything. Okay, so let's try and do this. See if this works out for me or not. It'd be nice if it did. She should still be hiding back here. No, don't move. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. No damage. Really? Come on. Ah. No, by the time I reload, you'll be gone. I need literally is one more opponent and get there in time to do down. Yeah, and of course all these rocks and obstacles are in the way. Come on. Turn. Oh, this thing is terrible for turning. Come on, get over there. Get over there. Come on. There you are. Oh, 85-55. But still... Oh, there we are. Would that be worth $69 of my money? Well, I'm used to a slow firing cannon. That puts out really, really big damage. The armor was a little disappointing though. Like, I was expecting it to be a whole lot different. However, the artificial intelligence never has bad aim, really. Hmm. I can get that kind of uh, credits with my tier 10 Alte, no big deal. Uh, did I even come in the top three? I came in number two. I'm gonna have to say no. It would not be worth my money. Even if I could get the reload down t 10, maybe even 9 seconds, which I doubt. No. No. Let's have a look here. Spall liner, armor crew cell, dot dot dot, yeah. Improved auto loader. Cooling system. I, I'm i gonna lean towards, I'm not, uh, no. I don't think so. And even in my inventory, so let's go have a look at this. We go to goods. We go down 
the list to here. There we are. So I have five parts, and I need 100. So I would need 95 parts out of those 50 crates. I have three pieces of the parts, or part of the crate. So, and you need 10 to assemble it. So, really, the odds are not in my favor right here with this machine at all. Yeah. So, for $69 for this machine, based on the performance of that one match, with pretty much an untrained crew, and Phillip's an okay commander, but he's not what I would consider to be my best, I would say pass. What are your thoughts? Well, first off, if you actually got anything on my video, found it informative, entertaining, or slightly amusing, consider giving me a thumbs up, subscribing to my channel, and leave comments below as to if you agree with me or disagree with me. Do you have one of these, and do you love it? Do you think it's the best tier 10 that you have? Do you think it's a mediocre one? Or do you regret the purchase? I'd be really curious to hear what you have to say. Please share your thoughts with me. Yeah, I'm glad I tried it before I buy it, and I'm not going to buy it. Thanks for watching, and until next time.